Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to learn the steps on how to work with Hyper-V VM checkpoints. In Hyper-V, a checkpoint is a saved state of a virtual machine at a specific point in time. It allows you to capture the exit configuration, state and data of a VM so you can return to that specific state later. Checkpoints can be very useful if you intend to implement changes to the system such as installing software or applying updates. If an unexpected error occurs, you can revert the VM to a previous state effectively undoing all the changes made. Windows Server 2025 Hyper-V offers two types of checkpoints, standard checkpoint and production checkpoint. A standard checkpoint captures the state of the VM including the VM's memory, device state and the operating system running inside the VM. A standard checkpoint doesn't enable application consistency which may result in incomplete data transactions. This is especially important for VMs running applications like Active Directory, Microsoft Exchange, SQL Server or any other application or database that transfers data between different nodes. It also captures the virtual machine's disk state, causing the VM to be frozen at the moment the checkpoint is created. This type of checkpoint is perfect for development and testing environments where you need to quickly revert to a previous state. A production checkpoint is intended for use in production environments and focuses on creating a more consistent state for the VM. It is similar to taking a snapshot of the VM's disk. Unlike a standard checkpoint which preserves the memory state, a production checkpoint depends on the VM's disk-based state and integrates the VM's backup solutions such as VSS in Windows and File System Freeze in Linux. Therefore, production checkpoints are created in alignment with the backup technology within the guest operating system. When creating a production checkpoint, no snapshot of the VM memory state is taken. Note that production checkpoints are enabled by default. However, if you want to change the checkpoint type, you can do so using either Hyper-V Manager or PowerShell. Standard checkpoints are more for test environments while production checkpoints are designed for more consistent and reliable backups and restores, making them ideal for production systems. Let's first explore how to change the checkpoint type on a Hyper-V host. Open Hyper-V Manager on your host machine. Right-click on the VM that you want to configure and select Settings. Under Management, click on Checkpoints. You will find the Checkpoint Type section where you can choose between Standard Checkpoint and Production Checkpoint. If you have selected production checkpoints, make sure this checkbox is also selected. If the guest VM doesn't support the creation of production checkpoints, this option allows us to capture checkpoints with the full application state. If you have selected standard checkpoints, you can enable the automatic checkpoints feature which automatically creates checkpoints when VMs are started and deletes them as soon as the VMs are stopped. Hyper-V allows you to configure the storage location for both the checkpoint configuration and the checkpoint saved state files. This is the current checkpoint location. Click Browse or manually enter the path to the folder where the checkpoint files will be stored. Select the desired checkpoint type and file location, then click OK to save the changes. Let me start the Win11-VM01 virtual machine. Right click on the VM and select Start. Let's go through the steps to create a checkpoint for our VM Win11-VM02. Keep in mind that the VM Win11-VM02 is currently running. Right click on Win11-VM02 and select Checkpoint. Hyper-V will automatically create a checkpoint of the VM. Since the VM is running, it will take a few seconds to create the checkpoint. A pop-up window will appear confirming that the production checkpoint has been created successfully. Click OK. A new checkpoint will appear under the checkpoint section for the selected VM. As stored the VHD, VM configuration and checkpoint files in this folder. Open Win11-VM02 folder and access the snapshots folder. These three files are associated with the snapshot we just created. VMCX file is the binary VM configuration file. VMRS file contains various information about the state of the running virtual machine. VMGS file is used to store the virtual machine guest state. Go back to Hyper-V Manager. 
Right click on Win 11 hyphen VM02 and select Connect. I am going to change the desktop background of the Windows 11 guest OS. For testing purposes, create two folders on the desktop named MSFT and Webcast. Now let's see how we can revert a VM to a previous state using checkpoints. Close VM connection tool. Select the VM which you want to revert. In the checkpoint section, you will see a list of the checkpoints that have been created for that VM. Right click the checkpoint you want to revert to and select apply. After that, a dialog box will appear with three options. First option is create checkpoint and apply. Before the selected checkpoint is applied, a new checkpoint of the VM will be created. This ensures that the VM is protected even if the operation fails. Second option is apply. Only the selected checkpoint will be applied. Note that this action cannot be undone. And the last option is cancel. The dialog box will close without applying any changes. For this example, we will select the create checkpoint and apply option. Wait for the process to finish. A new checkpoint has been created. The old checkpoint was applied successfully and the VM has shut down. Let's start the VM and connect to the VM using the VM connection tool. Verify that the two folders MSFT and Webcast no longer exist on the desktop. Close VM connection tool. Go back to File Explorer. Click on Win 11-VM02 and access the Virtual Hard Disk folder. Checkpoints are stored as AVHDX files in the same location as the VHDX files of the VM. When checkpoints are deleted, the AVHDX and VHDX files are merged to save space and ensure that no critical data is lost. Once the merge is complete, the checkpoints AVHDX file is fully deleted from the file system. Next, we will learn how to delete an existing checkpoint in Hyper-V. Go back to Hyper-V Manager. Click on Win11-VM02. In the checkpoint section, right click the checkpoint you want to delete. The drop down menu will appear with the number of options. If you want to delete a checkpoint tree containing the primary checkpoint and all subsequent checkpoints, right click the earliest checkpoint that you want to delete and click delete checkpoint subtree. We will click delete checkpoint. In the confirmation window, click delete. Go back to file explorer, confirm that one AVHDX file has been deleted. Go back to Hyper-V manager. Again, click on Win11-VM02 Virtual Machine. The standard checkpoint name includes the name of the VM, the date and the time when the checkpoint was created. To make it more user-friendly, you can rename the selected checkpoint. Right-click the needed checkpoint and select the rename option. Tap in the new checkpoint name and press enter. We can perform all these checkpoint management tasks using PowerShell as well. That's all for this video on how to work with virtual machine checkpoints in Hyper-V. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Hyper-V and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.